Well, here we are again, everyone, and just about to come back to school, which I'm delighted about. Uh, we are putting this video together so that you know exactly how we're going to go through our lateral flow testing. Whether you're aware or not, uh, we are going to test you three times uh, when you come back to school, and then you'll be doing some testing from home. So this video is about taking you through the process of how you're going to laterally flow test within school. And we are starting, as you can see, at the back of the sports hall. So on the day that you're due to come in, you will come in through your normal gate. Uh, and it's, again, it's, it's been out and I've given it to you in assembly. Uh, and you will head straight up to the back of the sports hall where we're going to take part in the registration. And that's where we're going now. Okay, so you arrive at the back of the sports hall. You'll wait here to be directed in for the back far exit. And then you'll enter through the back far exit. Good afternoon, welcome back. Would you like to go and find a seat and someone will be with you in a moment? I certainly will. Thank you. So you'll come in and then this all, the whole of this hall will be laid out in chairs, two metres apart for you to be able to wait. So you'll take your spot at the first available empty chair where you will sit down and a member of staff will, the, will then come up and give you a registration card along with two barcodes. Oh, there we go, there's your registration card. If you'd like to just scan that barcode there, that will take you to the uh, website and our centre code is SQHF. Okay, lovely, yeah. thanks miss. So there we go. Yeah. So you'll now hopefully get out a personal device that you have. You will log on, you will scan the QR code on the card and then you will follow the details in order to register on the NHS website for your lateral flow test. Once you are ready, you will indicate by putting your hand up and then you will be called forward to the registration desk. And you will access the registration desk here. Can you register okay? No yes, problem? yeah, I'll put all my details in. Thank you, Miss. Okay, can I just check your name, please? Uh, Mr. Love. Thank you, and we have consent for you. Yes, you do. This Thank is you. where they will check the consent form online to ensure that there is consent given. They will then make sure you're registered onto the system, and then they will pass you back your card Thank and you ask sir. you to wait in the waiting bay. Thank you. And the waiting bay will be at the front of the sports hall. So there'll be again, there'll be rows of chairs laid out here at the front of the sports hall in order for you to wait. And then testing will still take place in the main school hall. So when they are ready for you, they'll radio up to the sports hall, indicate, and then we're now going to, as if you were directed to leave the sports hall ready for the test center. So go ahead, sir. So you'll come out, you'll come out of these fire exit doors on the left hand side of the sports hall. You'll make your way around the side. And then we're going down the ramp, making sure you have remembered your card. You'll turn right at the end of the sports hall. And then you're going down in between the year eight and the year nine pens. So walking down and we're going to head for behind the main hall and we're going to get through there between the drag and D block. So walking down the ramp through the middle again as I said before through the middle of the year eight and the year nine pens. It is important when we get to the end of here, you make sure you're not crossing paths because we could be doing this testing process during a lunchtime as well. Walking. You're turning left at the end of the pens.
down the ramp as if you were going in to D block going straight ahead at the end turning left we're now going behind the drag and then down the steps to the main hall again around here straight ahead there'll be clear signage and barriers laid out so you know which way to go and there'll be staff here in order to tell you where you need to go so again down these steps straight ahead through the opening in the barrier there's an undercover area to wait if it is raining you go around there and there will be a number of students here and then you'll wait at the end barrier here until a member of staff directs you forward. Remember guys, at this point, we must socially distance in this queue here. There's only ever gonna be about seven or eight students, but equally important to keep your distance. So the member of staff has now indicated that you are clear to go proceed. You'll go forward and they will indicate which bay you need to go to. And bays are indicated on the testing bays here. In this case, you are heading to bay five and it's clearly labelled at the top there. When you arrive at the bay, the first thing you will do is hand over your card and then you'll be directed by the test staff. Good morning, you okay? Yeah, not too bad, thanks, miss. You're good. If you wouldn't mind, please, removing your mask, yeah. blowing your nose and then hand sanitising your nose. So at this point, that you'll be asked to remove your mask to be asked to blow your nose, dispose of it in the red bin provided, and then hand sanitize. It's important then that you look at the guidance upon the side of each testing station. That guidance will outline what, how, how and what you need to do during your test. You'll then be passed a swab So the instructions were then you are to swab the back, trying to reach your tonsils without touching your tongue, using the mirror provided, sincerely helps. You're looking for 10 seconds. So we're now trying to insert the swab up one of our nasal passages about 2.5 centimetres upwards and rotating it four or five times around. Okay. Once you are complete, it's important that you do not touch the end of the swab and you place the swab into the test tube provided. Is that... So you're now being asked to take a wipe, sanitise the whole surface where you've tested, including the mirror, if you've touched the mirror, and then dispose of the, the wipe into the red bin provided, and then take your card and then replace your face mask on and then we are heading to the holding bay now the holding bay will only be in operation for your first test so we're now going to head out towards so we're now going to make our way up to the holding bay so up the stairs to the right of the stage through the double doors at the end turning right and then out of the fire exit doors at the end, where we will make our way into the drag via the fire doors at the back of the drag. This is going to be classed as the holding bay, where we will hold you for 30 minutes, hopefully until we receive a negative test result. So you'll enter the bay here. You follow this direction around, following the route 
and then you'll take your space at the nearest available seat. In this case, it's the front seat. You will then sit down and then someone in 30 minutes time will come and notify you that your result hopefully is negative. In the case, in the event that it's not negative, we'll notify you further of what needs to happen. In the event that it is negative, which we hope it will be, you will then be told that you are free and then you will then return to lessons by getting up, walking out of the door, turning right, and then off to your lesson on your allocated timetable at that period. Teachers will know to expect you partway through the lesson after testing. At this point, I'm just saying, really looking forward to having you all back. It's been a long time, uh, and whilst it's still not gonna be normal, in inverted commas, it'll be great to have everyone back in school. So until that time, look after yourselves and stay safe.